Yo, what is going on guys? It is AJ Banks here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new around here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to disable adaptive triggers on Black Ops Cold War. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because the one I made about a week ago showing how to enable adaptive triggers got a bunch of comments saying that basically once you've enabled them, they can't be disabled. And I'm guessing that's just due to a weird bug on Black Ops Cold War, but I have figured out a way to completely disable them so you do not feel the adaptive triggers at all. So without further ado, let's jump into the game and I'll show you guys how it's done. Okay, so we're over here at the game now and it's very, very easy to do this. All you want to do is go over to settings, come over to controller. You're going to go down to trigger haptics. You're going to change it from enabled to disabled. And then you're also going to change the vibration intensity from 100 to zero. So we're just going to push that all the way down to zero. And that's it. That is literally it. So I'll show you guys quickly. I'm going to jump into a game and I'll show you. You can also do this in game. Okay, so we're in a game now and I'll show you guys that that has just worked. So now I'm pressing down my triggers. There is absolutely no haptic feedback at all. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-enable it. So go back into settings, controller. We're going to enable trigger haptics. We're going to bring this back up all the way to 100. Keep going. Okay, and then now we're back on the game. If you guys can see, let that reload. The trigger haptics are now back on. Whereas if you just went and say trigger haptics and just disabled them, you'll notice that whilst it's not bouncing back, you can still feel a lot of tension on the trigger. So it's not easy to push down, which is why you need to also bring the vibration intensity down to zero. And that will completely eliminate the adaptive triggers. And there you go. That is how you can completely disable the trigger haptics for Cold War PC. I'm not sure if it is a bug or they've purposely done this. If they have purposely done this, it doesn't really make sense because the vibration intensity is for the trigger haptics. Therefore, if it's disabled, it just shouldn't work. I don't know. I don't really get it, but just make sure you've got it disabled and turned down all the way to zero if you do not want to feel the trigger haptics. And if you do, then make sure it's enabled and you can put on any number you want, depending on what intensity you want to get from it. But I hope you guys did find this video helpful and did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications for more videos just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I don't wanna look back, I don't wanna like that. I've been going too fast, all the girls like that. And the fake ones wanna see my pulse go flat. And my day ones know I'ma pay something.